the contour base cutter height control system uh, known as CBHC uh, on the 3520 Mata Year 15 vehicle. Uh, we'll go over how to uh, set it up and activate it. Uh, for starters, you got to make sure that uh, uh, return to cut is active is on before you can go into uh, contour base cut height control. So you go to B and end of the row settings you're going to have return to cut enable. That box must be on. And also your floating crop dividers must be on. And your floating crop dividers must be set correctly to ride the ground. If the crop dividers Come off the ground, the uh, control base cutter height control system will not work properly. Uh, the next step is to turn the uh, auto base cutter switch on right here. Uh, if I put the vehicle uh, forward and I double click down, my contour base cutter system is active. Uh, as long as this is green. Another way to activate the system is hit all on button which is right here. As you notice the icon goes yellow which is return to cut then green which is contour based out of cutter height control. Uh, to set your height on your base cutter control you can do it a few different ways. You can bring your machine uh, to your target that you want to cut at so if I raise my base cutter up, uh, so right here, this is my actual height of the vehicle. This is the target that I want to achieve. Uh, when the auto base cutter system is on, the, the target and the actual not, will not always ride uh, uh, very close. Sometimes they go away from each other in order for the vehicle to go uh, to ride the ground. So if you come here and I got a height of 24 and I hit this capture button, it will put 24 right here. So that's now my new target. So my target and my actual are the same right now. Uh, if you need to adjust on a fly, you just hit up or down to whatever height you want to cut at. If you notice, it will not let you select a target above where your crop dividers will leave the ground because the system cannot control when the crop dividers are not on the ground. So it will not go up any higher to where when the vehicle, when the crop dividers are all the way down and uh, the base, you lift your base cutter to where those crop dividers leave the ground, that is your highest point that will allow you to set at this point. So in order to activate, you can either double uh, click down on the base cutter button and then you see if the icon is green here. As you can see, end of the row and return to cut is yellow. So it goes yellow and then it goes into contour base cutter height control. And then you can activate it the same way here. step is to set your pressures. Uh, the system is set up basically just like an operator would cut. Uh, at what pressure do you want your base cutter uh, to run at in that cane condition? So this is what you select here. You can do that by cutting cane and actually capturing the, uh, the pressure while you're cutting cane or you can just manually go up and down. So let's just say I cut it at about a thousand. I cut it at about a thousand PSI. So I set that as my target. So, so when I'm at a thousand uh, PSI, nothing will happen with the, with the pressure system. It will not 
uh, cause any reaction to the machine. Uh, when the machine, when this bar graph goes up and it turns red, the machine will make a lift when it turns red. And once it goes back into range, after a set desired uh, uh, time, it'll go back into, uh, it'll go back down to your original target. So it's a pressure exists override. So when the pressure rises above a certain point, the machine is going to make a lift and then eventually go back to your target. Um, so you basically run it on position and the pressure is an override. So my target is 1004 right here. Nothing's going to happen. But when I get to 1204, the machine is going to make a lift. So this is the point that you want to ask yourself as an operator, at what pressure do I normally reach over and hit my base cutter and twitch and bump up? So if I'm, my machine's cutting at a thousand and when I look over at my base cutter gauge and I see this number uh, at 1400, that's when I usually make a lift. So what you do is you take this number and you can press the bar graph and you increase this number to 400 PSI above my target. So this is my target. At 400 PSI above my target, the machine will make a lift. So in order, when, when you see this bar graph go red at any point, the machine will make a lift and you'll see your actual is actually going to go higher than the target because uh, the pressure system is overriding the position system. So there is some advanced settings that you can use in there if you go to the advanced settings page. Uh, the first part of the advanced prep settings page is this is the pressure part. If you, this first checkbox is the pressure system. If you don't want to use the pressure system and you want to only run a run on a position system, you uncheck this box. If you check this box, it'll, it'll then run on the position system with the pressure override. So the second bar graph is uh, when you make a pressure lift, how long does it take the machine to go back down once your pressure is back into range? So here's your range when the bar graph is green, when it's in range, we made a lift, we got above our, our target, how long do I want to, to stay in the green? before I, I bring the machine back down. So that is this number right here. So if I want, if I'm going along, my pressure exceeds my max limit I set, and you got between two and 15 seconds you can choose from to allow the machine to go back down to its original target if you don't get another pressure raise. This next bar graph right here is the position square right here. Uh, what this bar graph is for is, is the amount of time it takes if, if I'm cutting along and I take my base cutter switch and I make a raise to go over a rock or something in the field is the amount of time it takes for this thing to come back active. So if I'm cutting along and I raise this to 8 seconds, so when I make a raise, and then it's going to take 8 seconds for this to come back active now. what that bar graph is for. The last bar graph on the bottom is the sensitivity of the system. The way I normally set this is I increase it up to where the vehicle kind of feels a little uncomfortable going up and down. You feel it 
you feel the machine lifting and lowering, lifting and lowering kind of a lot. So I increase till I find that point. And then I usually go back down until the system is more stable. That's how I said that.